Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media. And in this video, I'd like to show you how you use the Creator Studio, as well as just walk us through the new look of your Facebook business page. So what you're looking at here is a Facebook business page, Silver Burtnick and Associates. You can see in the center is the cover image. If I wanted to change the cover image, I would click on edit and it would give me choices to upload a new photo, reposition, and so on. Now the next thing beneath it is our profile picture and the same thing here. However, when we press on the camera this time, we can actually view a story if there was a story going. But in this case, we could also edit the profile picture. So you might be able to do one of two things in this particular case when you click on the profile picture. Because going forward, the profile picture is also where you click to create a story. Now underneath we have our home tab, our photos, our about section, and our services. And these are called tabs and these are found in our settings under template and tabs and I'll show you that in a little bit. Here is a drop down arrow. If we click it we can see the rest of our tabs are here and you will have to look to see what tabs you have set up. Now if you have a shopping tab and an events tab and you're not using them, I will show you how to turn them off as well as I will show you how to turn on your live tab. So when you do live videos, you will then have a live library for those videos. The blue promote of course is Facebook trying to get you to spend a little bit of money. Over here is called your call to action button and you can edit this button. It has several other choices that you can make. As you can see, there's a big list of them and you'll have to decide which one you prefer. Now these three little dots here will come in handy down the road once you get using your business page. If we click on the three little dots, the drop down menu gives us a couple of options that are really valuable and the one on the very bottom, invite your friends, gives you an opportunity to click and Facebook will access all your friends from Facebook and you can go through them to decide if you want to invite any of those friends to your page simply by clicking in the little box here and once you click on send invite, an invitation from Facebook will be sent to that person inviting them to like your Facebook business page. I'm going to click those three little dots again. The other item that I think is really valuable is the share button. When you click share, this takes and creates a post of your business page to your personal profile where you can invite your friends to come and look at your new business page on Facebook and perhaps as you can see here is the like button. You could get them to like your business page. Now Facebook creates a couple of areas where you can simply just quickly either advertise um, such as promote here or over here, create an ad, here boost a post, here promote, and of course under your posts that you make is another option. So Facebook's main goal is to get you to spend money. So to create a post without going into the Creator Studio, you could click on create a post in Facebook. And as you can see, this is the simplified way to quickly create a post and you can even upload photos or videos by clicking simply on this little green box. Now the other thing that Facebook is helping us do, if we scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see Facebook has set your page up for success and there's 14 steps that you can complete in order to make sure that your page is being optimized on Facebook. And you'll have to see at what stage your page is at. Now we're going to go over here to the left hand side. We are 
on the Home tab, and that is the Manage Your Page tab. You can simply look down at all the other tabs that are here. And one of the things I want to draw to your attention, if you're not using the Creator Studio, but you're under the Business Suite app, this is kind of like a black, um, looks darker in a lot of cases, especially if you have your screen on a dark mode, but you still have not exactly the same tabs until you click on manage tools. And I have put in the notes a couple of pictures for those of you that have the business suite on your desktop. So there are two looks. One is business suite on desktop and the one I'm using right now is the creator studio. So on the left hand side, these are our tabs that we can go through. And when we get started, you would like to turn on your news feed. And to do that, you're going to click on news feed. And once you click on news feed, it then takes you into introducing a separate news feed for Silver Burtnick and Associates. So this is a very valuable news feed. This is where only other businesses that you as a business page can go out and like and interact and engage with. It's very similar to how you do it on your personal profile, only this is strictly set up for businesses. So if you click on it next, it'll tell you that you need to go out and follow other businesses. Um, so think about, you know, maybe 50 different businesses you could go out and like, such as coffee shops, lawyers that you use, home inspectors, your favorite restaurant, uh, maybe where you get your clothes laundered, um, where you have your car washed, etc. And then you're going to click next. And then it says, find inspiration from other pages and public figures. And it gives you some examples of pages that you could go out and like. But one of the things that I want, I'm going to like the Toronto Regional Real Estate Board as an example and the Buzz Conference. So you can just go ahead and decide which pages are best for you to go out and like as your business. I don't recommend going and liking other real estate agents in your local area, but definitely think of real estate agents um, that are in other communities or cities that you could also follow. And then if you click on go to the news feed, it will eventually take you to that news feed. This is a brand new option on your Facebook business page. So here we are back on our business page and you can see once I refreshed it, it has taken me to a news feed that is strictly filled with other businesses. And this is where you can go ahead and like or you can take the time and you could write a comment. And when you write a comment, you actually are dropping off your business card. So this is a really valuable feature that they have brought back to Facebook. It has been gone for a while. And then you can go ahead and link your WhatsApp if you um, would like to communicate on Facebook through your phone on WhatsApp. The Messenger tool is a great way for you to set up your autoresponder on Facebook. So when people send you messages, you can either automatically respond um, and let them know you'll get back to them in a timely matter. The Ad Center, we're going to go through this in depth in the Ad component of the course. The Inbox is where people are sending you private messages. So when you get a private message on Facebook, it is really a good idea to get back to that person. If you have a podcast, you'll want to set up your podcasts, uh, business apps, your Lead Center, um, events, if you have events happening, your resources and tools are other apps that you might want to engage with, but I'm only going to take you into the most important components on your Creator Studio business page right now. Manage jobs, notifications, your insights tab is a really valuable tab because this tab is going to tell you how well your page is performing over time and it comes in a seven day 
or a 28 day period. And not only can you look at your page reach, which is usually a really nice number, especially if you're running ads, but you can look at your page engagement. And this lets you know that these are the people that are actually lifting their hand, touching the keyboard and engaging with the content that you're posting. So this is a much more valuable number. Video views is a very important aspect of your business page. And then you can go into looking at all the posts that you're making so you can look at where your unicorns are because these are the posts that people are engaging with the most. So if you look at them, it will give you some analytics on how well that post is performing, what that post was so you can create more content that is getting the consumer lifting their hand and touching the keyboard. It also tells you in here what day of the week people are on Facebook. And as you can see, it's pretty much even Sunday to Saturday, but the time of day that people are on, this does fluctuate. And mainly it starts at about 6 a.m. And then it goes till about 6 p.m. So any time in here is a good time to schedule your posts to come out as well. You can also learn more in the Creator Studio on your analytics by clicking go to the Creator Studio. And then in the Creator Studio, you have much more detailed analytics about how each one of your posts is performing, your best posts, as well as your pages, your overview, your audience, your video performance, and so on and so forth. It depends how analytical you like to get. Now, if we hop back to our business page and we continue looking through Now we hop back to our business page and we continue going through our tabs on the left hand side and we were just looking at our insights tab. The next tab I'm going to draw your attention to before we go into the publishing tools is I'm going to go into the edit page information which can also be found in your settings tab. So when you click on your settings tab you end up on your general tab. This is where some people choose to unpublish their business page when they're first getting started um, until they're ready to publish it and go live with their page. A couple of things that I think are important are your profanity filter and I think this is important due to the fact that we want to keep the swear words off our business page and the other one is post in multiple languages there are up to 72 different languages on Facebook that you can choose to post from and sometimes this is directly related to your personal profile and the language that you chose on your personal profile. So this is why I bring this to your attention. Um, this is also where you remove the page or delete your page. Um, and if you're having any problems with your page, I suggest you unpublish it before you delete it. Uh, because it is um, not going to come back once it's deleted. The general tab, you must be an administrator on the page to have a general tab. The next tab down is your messaging tab, and this is where I said you could set up um, your automated private messages. Uh, so when people send you a message, automatically you are sending them a message back. Then your page info, and I had mentioned page info before we clicked on settings because there's two places to find it. I want you to go through your page info and make sure that you have secured your username. Now, if you look up here in the URL, it's facebook.com. This is Silver Burtnick and Associates because that was the secured URL that we took for this business page because that is the name of the business page. You can then go into your categories. You can choose up to three of them. The first one that you choose is the one that will show up under your cover image, which uh, you can look at to see that A, your business page has 
set up the username, and it has its categories in place. Then you wanna make sure your phone number is attached, that there's an email, there's a website that people can click to go to, that your map is set up, and you just keep scrolling through the page. The other thing I wanna to bring to your attention is your privacy policy. It is a very good idea that you copy your privacy policy from your website and you insert it into your Facebook business page. And then there's a lot of room here for additional information about your business and just continue through and have a look and make sure you've completed it as best you can now I had talked to you about the tabs um, on your page your home tab your photos your about your services the home tab and the photo tab and the about tab are tabs that you cannot turn on or off including your videos tab but you can turn off your reviews your services your shopping tab or you can turn them on if they're not using. And then you can drag up your other tabs if they're not in the order that you'd like to see them. And as you can see, I can drag and drop just by pressing on my cursor and dragging up the tab, whichever tab I want. Now the template, this is um, the template that you can change if you're not happy with the one that you have. Right now I have the services template on this page and you can see all the different templates that there are, but the service one is the one that is recommended for real estate. Event ticketing is not important. Notifications, we're going to watch for our notifications. Advanced messaging, that's up to you. Some people have a bot, uh, which they've installed. Facebook badges, this is for whoever your most popular um, person is on your page that does the most engagement. Page roles is important if you are going to set up other people on your page in order to make sure that... Um, Sometimes other agencies are running your page. Sometimes you can put a spouse on in case you cannot access your business page. It's just a really good idea, A, that they like your business page and that you're friends with them on Facebook. It makes it easier to find that person, to give them a role. Remember, anyone that's an administrator has the power to delete your business page and take you off. So. It's a good idea to know and love the person that you make an admin. Otherwise, just make them an editor or as you can see down here with the drop down menu, there's a lot of other choices that they can be besides the admin. And below here on the left hand side, people and other pages. This is where you can keep an eye on the people that have come to your page and liked your page if you like to know that information. And if you click the little drop down arrow, you can also look at pages that have liked your page. So you can maybe go out and like these business pages if you would like to. Now, the next tab is your Instagram account. I think it's important if you're on Instagram that you turn it into a business account and you connect it to your Facebook account. So you, when you post on your Facebook, you can also post at the same time on Instagram as well as with stories and vice versa. And that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk to you about. If I wanna go home or back to the business page i'm going to click on the little tiny name of the page just above the page settings and that will take me back to the home tab so as an overview i was telling you that it will tell you when you choose and the categories the first one you choose this is what i was talking about right here where it says real estate agent in the middle and then above it you can see that they've taken silver burtnick and associates as the name of the business page as you can see up here in the url as well and that is a really good overview of the facebook business page i'm now just going to take us into the creator studio for creating content however we are going to create the content in another video so how we do it is we go over here to where it says publishing tools and this takes us into the back end where we will be publishing and creating content. So here you are in the publishing tool and you can see you can look at your stories, you can look at your scheduled posts, you can see there's a scheduled post here. But really what I wanted to take you was to create content. We are going to go into where it says tools and creators. 
And here we are in the Creator Studio, and this will be the end of the video. I hope this was a good overview and helps you understand how your Facebook business page works. This is Heather, and remember everyone, keep it simple.